guys a little insight on Black Arachnia TM2 by Transart. Um, as far as pros and cons go, she's not perfect, but she is still a great figure uh, head to toe. Uh, aesthetically pleasing, she looks so accurate from paint jobs. Um, and basically, I just kind of wanted to go over the cons mainly. Um, off the bat, she looks beautiful, but there is some gripes, and I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up, if you will. Um, but this is a cool little gimmick that Transart is giving us with the, um, the Beast Mode head. You get to actually have little pinches on her, and the jaw does have articulation here, uh, which is very nice. Uh, the only thing that I feel like kind of sucks is those eyes. They should have been LEDs. They're not that dark in the show, but it's okay. Somebody will MacGyver that at some point. Maybe me. Uh, another thing is... Uh, con you're moving her around you're playing with her um you hit this and off comes the chest piece and you get a free flash from the arachnid lady uh this thing has a magnet but it is not solid at all i mean you put it on and you can literally just tap it and it'll come right off which kind of sucks because you would think that they would give you a better magnet or maybe a stronger uh, magnetic piece all in all but whatever i, I can live with it uh, I'm gonna just set it aside. Number two, um, her upper torso is extremely stiff, while her bottom is a little loose. Kind of sucks. Um, the front isn't, you know, that bad, but it's it's mainly the the Van Dams that are extremely loose, which kind of is a bummer because that posability is gonna be very limited. But again, from the torso up, it is super stiff, and I just I need to let you guys know to just be very very fucking careful on how you move her. Um, you, you will get some stress marks. I already got one right there, and I don't even want to pose her anymore. But be very careful on the butterfly joints, too. They do seem to pop out a little bit here, and I will show you just see like that. They just come right out. Just be careful on how you stress the figure. Um, you don't want to put too much pressure on her. Uh, and another thing to note is that all of her legs, they're very sick. The, the paint job is on point, but each leg is... Like, you'll get some of them that are nice and smooth, but then you'll get that one that is really freaking stiff, and you don't want to force it. I already got stress marks on one of them, and I was about to snap it, so I just, I put her in some nice warm water, and, um, kind of just let her sit in there for a few seconds and pulled it right out. Another main thing, too, about her beast mode is that these will open up, and there is this tab sitting in here, and you will, you will see it when you get the figure. There's a tab right here that you do not want to stress. This will snap, and it will mess up the entire figure, so just be very, very careful. Um... But yeah, all in all, she's uh, somewhat of a difficult figure to deal with. Um, she's very nice looking, and, you know, I feel like she's more of a display. You can't really play with her that much. She does have nice range and posability, but, um, and aesthetically pleasing from the show. There is just a few things that kind of interrupt that, and, you know, little bumps on the road. Also, her neck is very, very stiff. Like, it is very stiff to move around. Like, I have to hold this piece down to kind of push her chin down but you know nevertheless she's still a really nice figure I, I still recommend her especially if you're a hard beast horse fan like myself um i can't wait to transform her and uh, take some more pictures but i just wanted to give you guys a heads up on all these little minor gripes that are going to come with a uh, black arachnia just be a little transparent from what the youtube videos show you and all the other extra stuff um i hope you guys like it and uh, thanks for looking peace